Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, I am Maya Farman from uh, MS Electrical Engineering Department, LAMS. The paper that I'm going to review is Atomic Force Microscope, uh, published in 1986. This paper deals uh, with the invention of the atomic force microscope formed by combining the attributes of uh, scanning turning microscope and uh, status profilometer. Uh, the purpose of this research, uh, as indicated by the author, is the measurement of forces as less as 10 to the power minus 18 Newton. This is mainly done by monitoring the uh, elastic deformation of different types of spring. For this purpose, the author has uh, uh, proposed a cantilever beam system uh, in which an ultra small mass is moved by an angle of 10 to the power minus 4 angstrom using a 10 to the power minus 18 Newton force. This kind of sensitivity is similar to that of interatomic forces uh, existing between single atoms, which has paved the way for an atomic force microscope. The author suggests that uh, this tool can to be used for atomic scale investigation of conductors as well as insulators. It is further predicted that uh, not only interatomic forces, but uh, also the electromagnetic forces are measured by this tool. Since the introduction of the Nobel Prize winning scanning tunneling microscope and then the invention of atomic force uh, microscope from the landmark publication by Benning, Quitt and Gerber, the field of scanning probe microscopy has uh, exploded well beyond using interatomic forces uh, to image topography on the nanometer scale constructed by gluing a tiny diamond onto one end of spring made of a thin strip of gold. Uh, this was the cantilever of first AFM. The experimental setup formed by the author comprises uh, a cantilever beam attached with uh, a stylus, which is further capped between the AFM sample and tunneling tip. It is further connected to a piezoelectric element uh, utilized to drive the cantilever beam at a resonant frequency. Here's a working principle of uh, AFM. The piezoelectric transducer moves the tip over the sample surface. The force transducer senses the force between the tip and the surface and the feedback control feeds the signal from the force transducer back and to piezoelectric to maintain a fixed force between the tip and the sample. The STM tip is also mounted on piezoelectric element and uh, this serves to maintain the tunneling current at a constant level. For the proposed AFM to work affected, uh, expectedly, maximum deflection is required. For this purpose, the spring uh, should be flexible as well as uh, stiff enough with a high resonant frequency to minimize sensitivity. Here's the video of working of atomic force microscope.
this proposed technique, uh, liver is not to scale in upper diagram uh, and its dimensions are given in figure below. Uh, the STM and uh, AFM piezoelectric drives are facing each other, sandwiching the diamond tip that is glued to the liver. Uh, AFM is made to operate uh, in four different modes uh, this, in this paper based upon the connection of two feedback circuits, one on STM and uh, the other on tip. All four of these modes work in principle. They each serve to maintain a constant force between the sample and the diamond stylus while the stylus followed the contours of the surface. Uh, out of all modes, the one with AFM and STM driven in opposite directions is considered the best. The spring deformation is uh, well calibrated uh, by this method. The author has claimed the limiting sensitivity of the system proposed to be much smaller than the interatomic forces of surface reconstruction. Here are some modern day applications of uh, AFM. This uh, research holds vital importance in nanotechnology today based upon the wide use of AFM in imaging measuring and manipulating matter at the nanoscale and as a result has inspired many other scanning probe techniques. The use of AFM was originally restricted to image the surface topography, but uh, nowadays by modification of uh, instrument tip, many other quantities like magnetic and uh, electric properties uh, chemical potential and friction can also be well monitored. There are some uh, shortcomings in uh, EFM technology. The major downside uh, is the single scan image size. Uh, EFM can only image a, a maximum height on the order of uh, 10 to 20 micrometer and uh, a maximum scanning area of 150 to 150 micrometers. Compare with millimeters uh, for scanning electron microscope. The scanning speed of uh, an AFM is also a limitation, uh, highly dependent on AFM sample, uh, sorry, props. Uh, here's the conclusion of this paper. Today, the atomic force microscope is the standard tool, not only in material science, physics, chemistry, biology, and engineering, uh, but also in many industries such as the semiconductor industry for polymers and coatings in the metal industries and many others. Thank you.